Mike? How's it going, man? It's been about two years, three years. No, it's two years while. since we should have been, do- that we were trying to, de- been trying to do this since, right? I, th- I think less than that. It's been last year, wasn't it? Um, well, no, we've been talking about doing it for a while. Oh, okay. So we did their um, holiday, their stout. And their Martin. And their Martin. Um, yes. So I'm gonna think I'm just going to look at Josh, just because it's a lot easier than looking at the camera, and that way it's like I'm talking to somebody. We can use him as like a, as like a, as like a pun. <laughs> My brother's just off camera. <laughs> he's visiting. He's going to join in on the podcast, right? No, he's lying. Anyways, um, yeah, so... Um, a cool story that I think that we already told in the festive lager video. Um, yes, we did. We did already tell the story because we had we got the glasses at the same time. Okay. So we got the glasses. Long story short, the, the quick recap, so you don't have to go back and watch the festive lager video. But I will link to it um, at the end of the uh, thing. We Mike and I met up with. Um, well, not met up. We met one of the brothers at um, uh, Microbrew Invitational. One of the Beer Advocate Beer Fest about a year ago, and yeah. um, he actually watched the channel and liked our videos, and he, he said, hey, I want to send you some glassware because you guys talk about having proper glassware. And I'm like, that'd be awesome. So he sent us these two chalices, and he sent us the um, like their lager glass. So um, we did try doing a review once. Um, we bought two, well, we, we bought a four-pack of, of, of the Spencer Trappistale, and it was either over-carved or a little infected. Um, it did taste a little off, and it was completely just foaming all over the place. Like The bottle was pretty much undrinkable. Um, I still thought it tasted good. I just didn't taste right. And I actually had the other two recently. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And they were good. I, I, I don't know. Maybe they just need to sit or settle. I don't know. Maybe. Um, but yeah, we've been dying to do it, and it's just trying to find time to like go out and try to find a... Because we wanted to get a bomber to make, like keep consistency, right? Like, yeah. so, so, we're both, so we both have the same beer. Yeah. Um, so for people that don't know, Spencer is the first Trappist brewery in um, the United States. Yep. And... Um, this is their first beer that they brewed. Uh, funny enough, uh, when the uh, the monk came over to tell us, uh, he you know, that he wanted to give us the glassware, we were very very drunk, and he was coming at us at like a high rate of speed. And I saw his like security badge, and I was like, ah oh, shit, we're in trouble, because <laughs> I was so drunk. <laughs> He ended up being like a super nice guy. Yeah, it was, it was, and, and then I came out of the bathroom, and then yeah, yeah, it was, it was a good. It was it was a cool little. Uh, yeah, I, I I thought I was I was like ah oh, no I'm getting kicked out. Jesus Christ! <laughs> that was gonna be climactic. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so this is considered a um, uh, Patter's beer or Father's beer. It's like a you know how you have like your 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 doubles and your quads and your tripels. Um, this is more of like the single, I guess. Yep. Um, that that most that that they usually brew for the monks. The monks that drink at the brewery, and they usually don't um, sell it outside of the brewery. But they decided this would be a good first beer to uh, to brew. Uh, this looks much better. Because remember the last one when we, when we poured it, pretty much it started coming out of the bottle and like coming out of the glass like yep. super fast. So yeah, this is six and a half percent. Um, they just call it, they just call it Spencer Trappist Ale. Um, serving size, uh, serving is forty degrees, and I am stupid. Did I bet this forty eight, but whatever. We should be. We'll, we'll, we'll get a little warm. Um, water, hops, barley, and yeast. They use uh, family's yeast. It's like they look sound like it's their own. Um, yeah, they propagated at the monastery. That's pretty cool. Yep. It's unfiltered. It's unfiltered. Yep. It's like a copper orange. Yeah. Were we supposed to pour to the tip? For is that where the the um the head was? Cause that, cause that, that's where my head was. But was I supposed to pour the? I wasn't even lo- watching. I just kind of poured it. Do you want to give me a a, a top up as well? That's what I said. You know, if you have the glass, you might as well do it right. Okay, yeah. I didn't expect that, but <laughs> the whole bottle in one shot. But no, that works. Um, cool. Now, obviously, f- um, full disclosure, we've had this beer a few times, I have a bunch of times, I, a bunch of times. I've had it a bunch of times. I had it last week. I've had it on. Dra- <laughs> I've had it on draft. I've had it in bottles. Um, it's just a really solid beer. Um, but we've we've been dying to review it, so we're just going to review it. If you think it's unfair that we've had it multiple times, then it's on you. <laughs> Burnt yeah. orange. That's yeah, a coppery orange sort yeah. of deal. And it's, you know, hazy as hell. Yeah. Got a nice... Uh, nice lacing. Yeah, nice lacing. It's um, 
Nice white. Big bubbles. Yep. Nice white head. Yeah, pearly white head. I immediately think of Clark's. Yeah, I know. That's why I say it all the time. <laughs> Should we get a nose? Yeah, banana, cloves. Yeah, apple in there for sure. Yeah, like in this like intro, there's like this um sweet bread. Sweet bread, yeah. That that that's why I was hey there was something sweet, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Yeah, I noticed uh, last week like, how much apple was in it because I, I I usually just get the clove and banana, yeah. you know. But spices and yeah, it's just it's just a whole load of stuff, just like just on the nose. That's insane. Yeah, I'm getting like, um, like, like very, like a lot, lot of like, gr- like grain, like, like a graininess in a good way. Like I'm yeah. getting, it's like yeah, like I think it's like the malty sweetness, like the malty sweet grain or some or yep. whatnot. But yeah, just getting all those spices and everything that, that 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 you would expect in this type of beer, right? Yep. So cheers. Cheers, sir. Cheers, Josh. Cheers. Fuck you, Josh. Yeah, this is so much different than when I last had it. And that was, I think the last time I had it was when we tried doing that review, and that was months ago. Actually, this tastes a lot different than the bottle I just had. I like a lot different. Better or worse? A different. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that th- those ones had sat for a long time. Yeah, they did. A long time. This actually has a, a Best Buy date on it. Oh, does it? Mm-hmm. July 20th, 2018. Oh, those probably way past the best I buy. <laughs> they were good though. Yeah. It was good. This is much more like clean. Yeah. The one I had was like a little more uh, malty, a little um a little richer and but not necessarily better. It's just different. Yeah. Like I'm definitely getting a lot of crackery malt to oh, go yeah. along with like the, the clove and banana that we got on the nose. Mm-hmm. And it's just super drinkable. You get, well, it, you're getting like pale malt. Yep. You're getting um the spices. Um you're getting the clove, you're getting the banana, you're getting like that like sweetness. You're not getting it, you're getting like I'm not getting that apple. I'm not really sure. getting the apple. Nope. But I'm getting I did get it on the nose. Mm-hmm. But you're getting I just like there's like there's like no there's really no bitterness too much. It's like it just kind no, of just that, like, that beer bitterness yeah, that you get. The beer bitterness, right, right. <laughs> and it leaves this like just like this beer aftertaste. Uh, well, I mean, it's just it a little sweet, but it finishes pretty dry. Yeah, this is. But what I love about this is I just want to keep taking sips because yeah. you're still getting. It's just so. It's just. It's not. I, I don't want to say it's so simple. Yep. But it's just. Yeah, it's just so easy to drink. But but even let me say they just say only water, hops, barley, yeast. Like, there's nothing crazy that like it just. Nope. It's no adjuncts. Tasty. It's sweet. You get the. You get this nice like crackery malt that goes along with it. And it's just, yeah, it's just. It, it finishes really nice. Nice yeah, and dry. It's not overpowering. It's not killing my palate. No. It's not setting the world on fire, but it's very delicious. Yeah. I think it's a little harder for me to, like, talk about it since I've had it so much. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So if this is coming off as, like, I don't know, vague or whatever, I guess it's probably because we've had it so much and we just know that we like it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, 46. This serve at 40, so I wonder if we're missing out on some. Uh, key aspects doubtful <laughs> doubtful you're gonna have the monks watching this and like what an asshole <laughs> I, I mean I've, I've had that beer a bunch of times yeah, yeah I know I know I know what it tastes like mm-hmm. yeah I just I, but but as it warms up you do get it is like a little more sweeter like a little more sweeter malt with the like banana clovey background yep I said like, yeah I was, like, I, I've, I'm getting definitely like more breadiness as it warms yep what do you think you'd give it I'd probably give it a four. Yeah, I give it. A, I go three seven five four. But yeah, I can go to. I can go four. Yeah, a solid. Four. I remember when it yeah. first came out. It was super expensive. Yep. Like I remember when. It, like I went to Andover Liquors to get it when it first came out, and I think it was like, like either sixteen or eighteen dollars for a four pack, and I was like, holy shit. I saw single uh, twelve ounce beer at um, a place over by um, by Union Oyster House mm. in Boston, by twenty two dollars. Of this? Yeah, a single 12 ounce beer. When it first came out? No, the other day. What? I don't think it's that expensive anymore. No, no, no. It, it isn't that expensive. It is there. Yeah. Right. Cool. So, NerdSense 4 for Spencer's um, flagship Trappist Ale. Um, like I said, we've had this before, so full, full disclosure. Um, like, subscribe. Let us know if you had this before. Let us know what you think of other Spencer beers. Um, and NerdSense.net. From there, you can get everywhere we, we, we're at. I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And this, and this is, is NerdSense Drinks. Drinks.